is that under there? Is that a, like a vein or something? That's an 11 inch. It's like a, I don't need to take any weight off the car. Oh, so it's. If I go to the back, it's just like a Else so that rear end is windows. not a no, marquee, no, it's no, just no, something no, no, Mark Williams makes? And I could probably go as fast as I can. Ah, so that's... So you just call the top view of rear end? So what is the cubic inch displacement? 640. 640, all right. Um, I'll be honest with you, that's a little engine for a high dynamic. They got a beautiful shot. Uh, they even have an accredited course to the university motor. Because you want to make it cool. It's a real credit course of the three and how to build a lot longer stroke than the multi 900 to 1000 cubic inch. Because we live in Texas, we're in Dallas. Oh, okay, yeah. I started Learned about a modular rear end, but it's all the what would you what would it resemble like Chevy or if you were to try to put it on a scale of what it is, it would be a Chevrolet three hundred four. Okay, gotcha. It's, uh, you know, symmetrical. No, no it's, I would call this a symmetrical board. Yeah, that's correct. For symmetrical board and Chevrolet configuration. And you guys had to build those heads too and make them fit. No, actually, we developed. Oh, okay. All right. There's only one reason that I know. I know Rick's going to set up with Chrome on it. We've got two sets of nasty and one set of nasty. I'll do this. This is so nasty. It's only one block. That's the first block. Okay. Let's see how it works. Now, the other side of the exhaust is probably my favorite part. I call it Medusa. It was one of those crazy two weeks of what did you get a shot with it? Did you know? The first time I took these off, I couldn't even figure out how to put it back on. That's a long, that's a long so there's a lot going on there. Yeah, one lady came by and says, that looks I hit it. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, I see a turbo down there, and uh, the turbo on each side. And one of the things that sets this aside is the yeah, pipes like sticking out through the sides of the car, which you see, or you see, yeah, like the three races. Yeah, like the three races. See, I want everything to go be a dedicated exhaust that's around the side. Everything comes back into itself. So your exhaust is going out right here, and it looks right. like it's coming in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like you said, you're not going uh, and the street thing racing. What we're trying to do is utilize proper air intake in the, the car. You don't have a lot of hot air going in. We've got regular air cleaners and so forth in the intake induction. A lot of that stuff is what really took a long time to We had to make it. You're pulling your air in right, right there, right? And there's some air cleaners inside these. The key to that, basically how I did it, is take a piece of foam, a big block, and just keep whittling and forming until I got, got it made, then made molds off it to make the carbon pieces. Wow. So it's a long, drawn-out process to come up with that part. <laughs> what do you got going on right there? That's a, that's a wastegate. Wastegate's controlled by two things. It's got a valve that opens and closes right here. So what happens when the air is coming out of the engine into the turbine and it's turning the turbine to the point where you would want to open that to bypass some of that pressure so you control how much boost you have. Yeah, and you are controlling it. Looks like you're controlling it two ways. Right there. You have line coming up that comes in from the back side that's going from the intake side of the, of the turbo, which would be your atmospheric pressure. And as your boost pressure in the intake manual opens that up and gets the spring pressure. This other line on top is hooked to a CO2 control system that can open override what it does yeah. to actually hold it close so or open it on its own and it's all controlled by the traction control. Wow. By the traction control. It has full traction control. Yeah, yeah. Alright, you got, you got me going on this. I know. This is probably too technical for our viewers, but you know what? They're going to get it anyway. <laughs> These are blow up valves. They also work on the atmosphere and intake signal. I've got lots of throttle to wear. Watch that. Don't they have some like a. It dumps press street tours. Every intake manifold and the turbo is not installed in the turbo. The turbos okay. also have so they got sensors in there that check the speed of the turbo so it knows that it's slowing down. down. Also, okay. those are operated by the CO2 pressure, which is operated by the waste gates, which are all with the 17 and 16 traction. Very complicated. That, is, that sounds complicated. And uh, so there you go. Any of you, any of you tech heads out there, this is going to be the video for you. I think manifold is pretty unique also. There's four injectors per cell.
Ah, there's two on the top side. You see, there's two more coming into the bottom. Oh, yeah, because I got, I got a Monte Carlo. Oh, there you go again. All right, well, we'll finish this off with a little shot of this one here. There's so much part you can't reduce. This means a lot to these guys. Like you said, these guys are really going for high speed, and that's a big thing that's been happening. Uh, around the nation lately the half mile and the mile runs and the high speed runs and it's sound just really growing. So we look, hopefully we'll get some action footage of you guys. Appreciate it. Okay man.